Hi guys, uh, Michelle here. I wanted to come on today uh, with a quick share of a uh, secret Cupid swap for 2019 that I'm doing with uh, several uh, ladies. Uh, Paper Ventures, Rachel at Paper Ventures, Bambi's Mail, um, which is Amber, Becky at Becky Share, Tina, or Tina Marie at Mrs. Evely, Tony at Polka Dot Mailbox, and Angela with Love Pink Dragonflies, and then myself. So this is a seven day or a 14 day uh, leading up to Valentine's Day uh, swap. And what I did was I made seven items and then I um, pulled from my stash or purchased seven additional items. And uh, so what I'm gonna share with you today is the seven handmade items. So the other stuff's already wrapped, but you know, you'll, you'll probably see it on uh, my person's, um, uh, I'm sure they'll do an unboxing. And actually the person I have is Amber at Bambi's Mail. So um, it was kind of a random generator. So we, um, we don't know who's giving to us, but we obviously know who we're gifting to. So anyway, uh, let's get started. This is a um, 12 by 12 pocket letter that I made uh, for Amber. And I'll start with the um, little tassel. So I just uh, used some Dollar Tree uh, gingham ribbon that um, I bought last year to do a bow and I added some of the Target Dollar Spot um, ah, sequin trim, so if you can see that. And then I just added a um, cute little tag from a crepe paper Valentine collection I had from last year. Added a little um, A for amber and then I added a little Target uh, wine charm. So that was from the Target Dollar Spot. So I thought that was really cute. And then I just hooked it to the ring on the pocket letter. And then um, I'll probably pull this close so you can see. I just um, filled each pocket obviously with papers. And uh, before I put the paper in, I actually did a quick stitch, kind of a squiggly stitch um, around twice on um, one, two, three, four of the papers. And then two of them don't have it. but. Anyway, I just thought that added a little extra dimension. I really liked that. Um, added a gold doily. Cut this out of the um, uh, crepe paper La La Love collection. And it just looked a little plain, so I added again some stitching. Added a cute little bow, some flowers. Uh, really like that one. That one's like one of my favorites. And I don't, I've never met um, Amber in person, but I feel like this is like what she probably looks like. I don't know. I mean, I've seen pictures of her, but this just reminds me of her, this little girl. So anyway, super cute. And then, um, just decorated this page here. This is like a Felicity Jane sticker. This is a crepe paper. I cannot remember what collection. And I just made a little handmade embellishment. And then this pocket here also I stitched added this little Hobby Lobby um, felt strawberry from last year. Love, this is one of my favorite little like cut aparts from the uh, Lala Love collection. You're the bee's knees, super cute. And I uh, did a little shaker here and added a, um, I think this is a Maggie Holmes uh, frame. Just kind of glued that right on top. Added this for just a little bit of extra because you know, extra is always good. And then that little one's super cute. And then this guy is like one of my favorites from that collection, the Lala Love collection. I think I pretty much used all Lala Love and then some of last year's, I forgot the name of it, last year's crepe paper collection. But anyway, did a big shaker pocket here, added a flower that I made um, using my Cricut. And this is actually a die cut, a leaf die cut that I received at Ho or that I picked up at Hobby Lobby last year and this lovely little doggy. And then the last one, I um, did the same thing, stitched around, actually stitched two pieces of paper together and then glued that on top of this one and then just added some little flowers from the Flourish collection and this is from Hobby Lobby just to kind of finish that off. So anyway, this has just turned out like super cute. I'm really loving this blue. When I first saw this collection, I was like, I didn't like the blue. I, I don't know why I thought, oh no, I don't like the blue for Valentine's. When I put this together, I was just so enamored with it. And I actually absolutely love the, the blue. So awesome call, great paper or whoever designed this. So anyway, love it. So that's one of the items that I made. Then um, this one's gonna be hard to film, but I did a mailbox uh, for Amber and I used a um, Cricut cut file 
and it's my first like large project. I just got the Cricut for Christmas, so I'm not sure. I, I didn't quite put it together exactly right. It's, it's like you have to put it together once to kind of know how to do it, but um, I think it still turned out pretty good. It's gonna be hard to film, but it has this little flag on the side, and I plan on filling. This thing is really big. I don't know if you can tell by my hand size, but um, it's huge, and I plan let's see if i can get that in frame better yeah there we go so this is the front and what i plan to do is everything i made i'm pretty sure it all fits in here and if not i'll just leave a couple of things to the side in the box but um, my plan was this is going to be number one for the gift that she'll receive and then she'll kind of know it right when she opens the box that this is her first gift but after that everything is wrapped and numbered and it will be inside so uh, and I'll just show you a quick peek. It just, you uh, unhook this paper clip and then it opens up and you can kind of see in there how roomy that is. So, um, so I'm super excited uh, for her to receive this. I just, this is like so stinking fun. So that's one of my gifts that I made. And then let's see, oh, I did a really cute um, memory decks card, really liked that how that turned out um, super fun and then I take this out the glare is always bad but did some fun little Valentine envelopes um, uh, use I think this is a pebbles collection here that I used uh, to do with the envelopes and then I can't remember ah, I don't I should have wrote down the papers that I use but Anyway, just kind of added a few little embellishments and some word fetty, and then made like these little letters coming out. So gifting her that, gifting her this rosette kit, actually, I won't take these out, but I went ahead and just topped it with a um, felt flower I got from, I think the Target Dollar Spot last year, and uh, just glued around the edges and added this fun snowy glitter that I made at Christmas time, but it's, I still think it looks really, really cute. And I thought these would be cute. They're very Valentine's, but also, I mean, anytime you use hearts on a project, it it looks really good. So it doesn't really have to be Valentine. And then in the back, I made her a little rosette kit. So she has four rosettes, four hearts, and the little backers to go on the backs of these, and then uh, her own little glitter. So. I thought that was really cute. I like receiving, um, I love when my pen pals send me little kits, like, you know, they'll make a couple embellishments, but then they'll give me also, or gift me some uh, fun uh, pieces to make my own. Okay, so this one, before I open it, I'll show you, super cute. Um, I picked these boxes up, I think, when they were on clearance uh, from Stampin' Up, but they're just little acetate boxes, and I thought those were super cute to um, put these in because I didn't really have an, like a plastic sleeve that would hold these. But so I made, and I can't give credit because I don't remember who showed this last year, but they made um, these envelopes out of a heart doily. And she, I'm pretty sure she even did a tutorial. So I, I just wish I knew who it was. If, you, if, if it was you, please DM me and just let me know because I'd like to give you credit for that. Um, but anyway, so these don't actually come out. I wanted them to stay inside, but I just made like a little postcard, um, you know, that looks like it could come out of the envelope and then just added some of the um, Target embellishments from last year and some fun words and flowers on this one. Uh, same here. Just the little chips. I just love the, the little dogs from last year. And I was glad the box was, or the bit, the little uh, tub was huge. So I was able to use them last year, use them this year, and I have plenty for probably a couple more years. Added some word fetty to this one. And then there is this little guy, which is so stinking cute. Love him. Okay, so that's that. And then the last handmade item. Um, was these flowers. Again, I um, cut these out on the Cricut, and I'll actually go ahead and take this out so you can see. So what I did was I made the flower, two flowers for her and then gave her four in the back so she can make some of her own embellishments. And again, I felt like this was, um, you know, it's very Valentine's, 
but I made the flowers, the extra flowers, and I feel like this could go any time of year. So um, I think she'll, she'll really like those. And then let's see, let's see if I can show you a close up. I really love this La La Love, some of those Target uh, chipboard pieces, and then just some cute, um, I think that's a Prima flower and that's a Michael's flower, but anyway, that's it. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.